gentlemen. So there's something about me that probably would surprise most of you. I'm shy in certain situations around certain people. I don't consider myself a shy person generally, but I think shyness happens to all of us from time to time. This happened to me just the other day. I was in Chicago on a business trip at T. Shanley headquarters. Well, at night, we went out to dinner with our board members, and our board members are these uber crazy smart dudes that have been super crazy ridiculously successful in their career so we're sitting there everybody's talking everybody's laughing except me i'm just like buttering my bread and eating and like like i literally felt like a little kid and i realized that it was happening and so i got up i went to the bathroom i collected myself i had a moment and then i went back out there and had a great night so today i'd like to share with you five tricks that i use to stop being shy instantly the reason it's so incredibly important to develop the tools to get yourself out of your own head, stop being shy, and into the conversation and situation is because I don't want you missing out opportunities or connecting with people that otherwise would absolutely love you and realize how incredibly amazing you are if you could just be present as opposed to pulling back going into your shell and today I hope some of these tricks will help you stop being shy the first trick to getting over being shy is to identify your insecurities what are you insecure about and once you identify them change them if you can and if you can't embrace them so growing up I was incredibly insecure about the fact that we didn't have much money and all of my friends it seemed like had more even though I grew up in a blue collar situation and area it seemed like I had less than most people. Everybody's family had nicer cars, they all had nicer houses, and they all wore nicer clothes. Now, I couldn't necessarily change the fact that my family didn't have much money, but I could change the way that I presented myself. And so, with the money I had, I would go shopping at thrift stores and learn to dress cool on a budget. By doing this, I actually felt better about myself, and I engaged more and got over my shyness. A lot of guys that are insecure about their teeth or their smile won't talk as much as people that are confident or comfortable with their teeth and if this is you you can do something about it you could whiten them if they're yellow you could go get orthodontic procedures or braces now it's not cheap you might have to spend a little bit of money you might have to get a second job but it's worth it but one of the biggest and most devastating things in terms of confidence and and what I see guys being shy about is is their skin if you've got acne if you've got scarring if you've got skin pigmentation irregularities it kills you in terms of confidence. Guys, there's help out there. Go see a dermatologist, go see a dietitian. And after you get it under control, if you've got scarring or skin irregularity in terms of pigmentation, you might wanna check out something like today's video sponsor, the PMD. I talked about the PMD on multiple occasions and I use the PMD. This is a personal microderm abrasion tool. The way that it works, inside this little cap, you've got these little discs. It comes with different intensity levels like this. The white one is sort of like the starter one to get you sort of used to it. And then it goes blue, it goes green, and then it goes red. It also has some large <laughs> larger discs which you can actually use on your body if you've got some issues on your body um, you've got to replace them once they start to kind of stop working you do have to go online and order some more but this tool is incredible microderm abrasion is essentially like sandblasting your face lightly sandblasting your face you go to a dermatologist office you lay there and they do it and then you've got to go back for another treatment another treatment another treatment and it's gonna cost you hundreds if not thousands of dollars but the PMD allows you to do it in the comfort of your own home these things are incredibly effective this is a serious tool you don't use it every day I would recommend once a week possibly twice a week and all you do is you go over your face it suctions it sands it doesn't hurt but as you get used to it you increase the intensity level each time you use the PMD you're removing a small layer of skin through exfoliation we talk about exfoliation all the time this is exfoliation like supersized but what you're going to find is that it's going to eventually start smoothing out your skin all those dark spots and scarring starts to go away guys if you want to check one of these out there's a discount link along with a code down below these things are incredible and could possibly help you not be shy the first trick is to identify what you're insecure about and fix it if you can if you can't embrace it the beautiful thing about insecurities is that they're totally invisible other people don't know that you're insecure about whatever you are but identifying it is the first trick Trick. The second trick is to learn to identify when you feel yourself being shy. You can't do anything about it if you don't know what's actually happening, but 
I know you do because if you're anything like me, when you're in the environment, when you're in the situation where you are regressing and going into your head, you know it. And when you identify that you're being shy, move on to the third trick. And this is what happened to me when I went to the bathroom and sort of gathered myself and had a moment. I gave myself a pep talk. Give yourself a pep talk, mine. You want to know mine? I say to myself, in my head I go, I'm awesome, I'm amazing, and then I start going over and listing my strengths in my head. There are things that I'm good at that other people aren't good at. And there are some things that I'm awesome at that other people are terrible at. And so I remind myself, we're all great at certain things. Remember that because you are amazing. I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I've got interesting things to talk about because I am awesome. <laughs> whatever it works I'm telling you try it next time once you get that under control and you sort of gather yourself give yourself a little oh, and it's time to take action on your shyness with the fourth trick which is smile and give a compliment you got to break the ice you got to get involved you got to get engaged there's no better way than to smile and to identify somebody or something and give a compliment wow Brian that's an amazing jacket I love it whatever it doesn't matter the other incredible thing that happens when you give somebody a compliment they automatically are drawn to you like a moth to a flame you're magnetic man you smile you give a compliment they start interacting you start feeling more comfortable they start engaging you you start engaging them and people around you Oh my god, man, you're not shy anymore. You are now the guy that everybody wants to be around. And the fifth trick to stop being shy instantly is not actually something instant. It's pushing yourself out of your comfort zone on a regular basis. You can't get over being shy in certain situations or when you're around certain people if you don't practice. Pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone, it's scary. <laughs> it's, it's really scary. It's uncomfortable. It's, it's tough, but the sooner you can do that, the more you do it, the better you're going to be and the less shy you're going to feel in any situation. It's almost like you're building up like, like a tolerance, right? Like you put yourself in that situation enough and all of a sudden it starts to not be that scary. It start, starts to not be that uncomfortable. I need you to do this for you. You're going to be amazed. I know that it's hard. I know that it's uncomfortable. I know that you're shy. But by pushing yourself, by engaging, you're going to be amazed at how incredible you are and how you can actually contribute. And once you start doing that, oh my God, people are going to love you like I love you because you are amazing. Gentlemen, believe it, know it, and stop being so damn shy.